Ezekiel chapter 37. If you have a Bible, please take Ezekiel chapter 37. The hand of the Lord came upon me and brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley and it was full of bonds. Everyone say full of bonds. Once again, full of bonds. And he caused me to pass by them all around and behold, there were very many in the open valley and indeed they were very dry everyone say very dry very dry and he said to me son of man can these bonds live so i answered o oh lord you know verse 4 again he said to me prophesy to these bonds and say to them o oh dry bonds hear the word of the lord everyone say hear the word of the lord Here we are going to um, uh, um, listen from this passage, Ezekiel chapter 37. See, when we study about Ezekiel, uh, Ezekiel he was in um, Babylon. He heard God's voice first time in his life. He, the hand of the Lord came upon Ezekiel and he, saw, he started to see the vision. God opened his eyes he was a priest God opened his eyes and he started you see the vision you know what he saw in his vision he saw four living creatures coming from the presence of the Lord and coming to the earth he saw four living creatures hallelujah see from since that day onwards Ezekiel started to see the visions but here when we study Ezekiel chapter 37 we can see that one day the hand of the Lord came upon Ezekiel and the he God brought him in the spirit of the Lord hallelujah he brought him he lifted his spirit and he began to see this vision in the spirit he was going through a valley it was full of dry bones hallelujah see the bones means the end everyone say end end there is no possibility we see the after the bonds because when a person die when an animal die what will happen um, the the uh, the body or the animal's body will go to the ground it will decay start to decay after few weeks or few months after we can see only the bonds but here bible says it was very dry bonds hallelujah see that bonds were scattered together long time ago because bible clearly says that the bonds were scattered all over then he heard a voice he heard god's voice son of man can these bonds live this is us a question god asked to ezekiel See, Ezekiel was expecting God is going to give some supernatural revelation or he was expecting God is going to reveal some secret mysteries from heaven or something like that. But he heard something, whatever he was not expected from God. God asked, this time, God asked him a question. Ezekiel, these bonds will live. Look at that. Ezekiel was not sure about it. He doesn't know what to answer. One minute he is stuck. He doesn't know what to shed what to speak to God. Then Ezekiel said, "Lord, I don't know. You know that." Look at that. Because the bonds were full of uh, all over the valley. Not only that, the bonds were scattered all over the valley. Not only that, the bonds were very very dry it was a dry bonds as again never knew that what is going to come goodness going to come out of this bonds as again never had any clue what is going to happen to this bonds but ezekiel said to lord lord i am not sure i don't know what is going to happen i can see only the dry bonds hallelujah see Ezekiel never saw any possibilities upon this dry bonds because the bonds means the end of a situation dead end of a person the bonds means that's a dead end everyone said dead end dead end there is no way to go 
there is no place to go there is no way to imagine or there is no way to expect a more goodness what happened ezekiel so only the dry bonds everyone said dry bonds dry bonds once again dry bonds god asked him a question god asked him a question son of man can these bonds live ezekiel said lord i don't know but you know that hallelujah see many times we used to say this lord i don't know what is happening in my life only you knows what is happening in my life how many of you have experienced that kind of situation i experienced many times sometimes we don't get answers from the lord the waiting time is too much we used to cry we used to push nothing is happening why i heard this prophecy i heard this word god i heard audible voice i heard god's voice in my spirit why nothing is not what nothing is happening we will get frustrated at that time we will say lord i don't know what is happening in my life only you know hallelujah look at that ezekiel poured everything from his heart he said in a clear voice he said the truth he never covered anything he never tried to say any lie to god he never said um, to uh, you know change the situation he never said anything he said his heart to god lord i don't know only you know that see many times god is expecting that kind of genuinity from our heart most of the time we used to cover the things but what we had to do we had to tell to god god i don't know only you know what is happening over my situation over my life i believe that you uh, i am in your control see we need that kind of oneness with god here asakel told god lord i do not know immediately everyone say immediately immediately including the children everyone say immediately immediately god spoke to ezekiel son of man start to prophesy everyone say prophesy start to prophesy see most of the time we will think the prophecy is, on, is only for the preachers no here what we have to learn that we have to prophesy our dead situation don't expect other people to come and prophesy for you don't expect some other uh, people to come and help you but certain times if we can't see the answers if we can't see the goodness or any kind of breakthrough you have to open your mouth and you have to begin to prophesy over your situation hallelujah here began the god was teaching to ezekiel ezekiel you have to prophesy see god never gave him any prophecy god asked him to prophesy over the bonds hallelujah see the dry bonds what is a dry bonds dry bonds means dryness see most of the sometimes what we do we go to the dryness we try to do certain things but it won't work how we ex- how we expect it we we may try to achieve something in a, in a special way we put everything we put all the energy we put all the effort we put all the prayer but it's not working at all that time some kind of dry, um, dryness can come to our spirit hallelujah see the dryness is not good at all dryness can neutralize our positive thinking not only that the dryness is a hindrance for our next step of faith actually the breakthrough is next next is coming to the next step but what happened because of the dryness our spirit become cold we don't know what we even we want to put a new step forward but the dryness will stop us but today morning i'll tell you the dryness is going to break in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah see today the name of jesus is powerful than any dryness i'll tell you i prophesy over you every kind of dryness every kind of rejected thoughts are going to leave from us today morning in the mighty name of jesus how many of you believe then shout jesus Hallelujah the dryness is not good at all see that's why he when um, when god was showing the vision to ezekiel bible clearly says the bonds were very very dry 
there is no possibility but god can bring a possibility even a dead situation hallelujah even the lazarus was dead he was in the tomb for four days everyone say four days four days there was no possibility everyone came for the funeral service everyone was comforting martha and mary but jesus show up then what he happened jesus cried out a big low with voice and he said okay remove the stone then what happened immediately they remove the stone then jesus spoke to a, a word lazarus come forth hallelujah immediately the lazarus come for come, come out from the came out from the grave from the tomb look at that there is a power in our words there is a power in our words hallelujah see there is a power in our words because we are god's children whenever we use the words we have to be very careful we are not allowed to curse anyone hallelujah sometimes i know when we get frustrated uh, some kinds of bad words will come in our mouths i tell you you have to stop there itself but i i learned this secret years ago even whatever happened to me whoever punches against me i don't say i don't speak any any bad word against them i try to say blessing you know i start to bless them i bless to start their bless their finances i start to bless their body i start to bless their family i start to bless their children and grandchildren house you know that's the way we can come out hallelujah that means bible says we are called to bless others hallelujah we are called to bless others not to curse the people hallelujah see what we have to do we have to bless others there is a power what we are releasing from our mouth hallelujah the words can bring death and life everyone say the words can bring death and life see that's why we have we should know that there is a power in our words look at that here god spoke to ezekiel ezekiel you have to prophesy look at your neighbor and say you have to prophesy see this is a time here to prophesy prophesy means what what is a real prophecy it's a faith filled words not talking few minutes in tongues or abala sura mama can little interpretation not prophecy no bible is not going to talk about this kind of prophecy that's a different kind of prophecy this one faith filled words over the situation over the dead situation you have to see that situation and you have to began to prophesy don't cooperate with the discouragement don't cooperate with the demon and to help the de- demonic realm no we have to remove that kind of things and he have to cooperate with the holy spirit and he have to release the faith filled words that time the heaven will move hallelujah here yesakil began to prophesy verse 5 This says the Lord to these bonds surely I will cause breath to enter into you and you shall live and I will I will put sinus on you and bring flesh upon you cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live then you shall know that I am the Lord hallelujah look at that verse 7 this very interesting verse 7 so I prophesy as i was commanded and as i prophesied there was a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone hallelujah everyone say suddenly see bible says when ezekiel began to prophesy he heard a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together born to born everyone say born to born see when ezekiel began to open his mouth the miracle began to start hallelujah until that time nothing happened ezekiel began to prophesy he began to release the words he began okay the dry land, the dry bones you have to come bones to born i'm going to put i uh, come uh, the skin come upon you let the flesh come upon you let the life come upon you he began to prophesy he began to declare the good things hallelujah he never cuts the bones he never doubt about the prophecy he began to declare the good things over that dead bonds over that dry bonds immediately he heard a noise and a rattling and suddenly the rattling yeah, the bonds came to bond to bond hallelujah the miracle began to happen there is a meaning about it 
whenever we release some prophecy we cannot see immediately in the natural i mean in the physical realm but the things already happened in the spiritual realm hallelujah that's why this is a, there's a spiritual power began, uh, behind our uh, words see what happened when ezekiel began to prophesy immediately the bonds came to together see it is very clear that the hand bonds came to hand the hand never um, united with the leg then it was a big mess the skull went to the right spot the skull never went to the feet the vertebrae went to the vertebrae itself the vertebrae the vertebrae was not dislocated what are the bones i don't know the nodes um, sorry i don't know the bones what collar bones right any other bones collar bones okay collar bones went to the right spot it's it didn't went to the wrong spot see all the things came to the aligned into the right position hallelujah see that is very very important see when we began to pray when we began to prophesy over certain situation whatever it is messed around in our human eyes god will put it back everything to the right spot hallelujah see if we try to put it together i tell you we will fail if we try to solve that issue i tell you or most of the time the skull will go to the base maybe the collar bone will the wrong spot the vertebrae 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 will go to the head or wherever see what i am saying if you try to google or if you try to um, make the situation work i tell you it will go to the misplacement but if you are ready to prophesy over the dead situation if you are ready to prophesy over the dead bones what will happen god will pull what the dislocated things to the right position hallelujah see once the god put it together nothing can separate hallelujah no human can so separate because god know how to put the bone to bone to bone hallelujah hallelujah so i believe that this word is going to touch you you may think the things are located in your in your life the messy messiness you may think it's not going to work you already lost many years you may lost many goodness you may lost lot of things the things are dislocated all over but i'll tell you if you are ready to open your mouth and began to prophesy i'll tell you god is going to put everything together for a purpose hallelujah god is not the god of no, separation god is not the god of uh, dislocation what will do god will put everything in the right spot hallelujah we are serving a good god we are serving a living god we are not serving a dead god god's power is able to put everything together hallelujah see look at that when began ezekiel began to prophesy immediately there was a noise and suddenly a rattling and the bones came together bone to bone verse 8 indeed as i look the sinus and the flesh came upon them look at that when he was looking as he was looking he saw that the sinus came because first of all the bone to came can you see that uh, thing in your imagination the bones came to bone and they came to the right spot after that the sinus came see when the bone came to bone together there was no sinus on that bones it was a partial formation after that the sinus came so what's the meaning of sinus the breath this we can we can uh, smell we can receive the smell right we can uh, the sinus came after that the flesh came sinus and flesh came but there was no life on it it was like a total dead body see once the dry bones never had a flesh upon the bones but look at that when he began to prophesy the flesh came upon the bones. hallelujah see god is able to put flesh upon the dry bones we you know you no need to stay on that dryness anymore you have to call we have to believe that the power of the holy spirit is go, is able to put the flesh upon the dry bones here he ezekiel began to prophesy him he saw that 
the bond came to bond indeed as i look the sinus and the flesh came upon them and the skin covered them overall hallelujah there was no flesh upon that flesh but look at that immediately the skin covered hallelujah after that but there was no breath on in them ezekiel stuck for a while see he forgot to prophesy for the breath he prophesied only for the for the sinus he prophesied for the flesh he prophesied for the skin but he never prophesied for the breath then he stuck up for a thing then god's voice came upon ezekiel again then god spoke to him prophesy to the breath prophesy son of man and say to the breath thus says the lord god come from the four winds of breath and breath on this land and they may live hallelujah verse 10 so i prophesied and he commanded me and breath came into them and they lived and stood upon their feet and exceedingly great army hallelujah look at that now the things began to change when ezekiel began to prophesy the bond came to together after that the sinus came the flesh came the skin came but there was no breath in them the breath means the spirit hallelujah see if you don't have the holy spirit the food in the fullness of the holy spirit in our life what will happen there is no life we are like a dead person that's why many people used to say see i want to do certain things i want to live for god i'm so passionate what what is missing the breath hallelujah the breath of the spirit we need the breath of the spirit we need the fulfillment of the holy spirit then only we can live see otherwise we can live like a dead person that's why um, he he began to prophesy as he began to prophesy immediately the breath enters into the body the not only that the body stood by themselves hallelujah not only that the, the, it became a great army of the lord hallelujah see if you are ready to begin to prophesy the, these things are going to happen in our life see we should not stop in our prophesy many times he used to pray we pray for two days three days after that we don't see any answers we we'll, we we'll discourage no it is not going to happen to you it's only can happen to pastor david oh no, no i'm not going to prophesy i'm going to stop the prophecy today no no you don't stop it you have to see until the victory comes see ezekiel never stopped the prophecy ezekiel again he prophesied he prophesied okay let the breath let the breath come enters into the body enters into the body again he prophesy okay i'm going to command you have to stand you have to stand in your own feet then ezekiel was keep he was keep prophesy immediately he saw the result hallelujah he have to release the positive words he have to release the faith filled words in your mouth hallelujah you can prophesy for anything it will work hallelujah it will work he can prophesy over the dead car it will work i i know many many stories um i'll tell one story uh, this is one of my favorite favorite preacher from us uh, he was he was driving a car he is uh, he he was going through his poverty season he he had a great um, call of god uh, in his life but at that time he um, never had finances in his life he want to go for a meeting but he never had any enough fuel on that car he by faith he filled um, he filled the gas tank immediately but he then he don't know what to do he he went into the uh, he went inside of the counter he was standing there he don't know he never had money he don't know how to pay he made a lament and he said oh hi how are you i want to pay for you petrol bill fuel bill he shook his hand and he paid the bill and he left then he was driving that was one of the one one miracle but he want to go long uh, you know only it will co- cover only 12 or 13 miles but he want to go more than 700 miles he don't know what to do that time no angel stand up he and his wife we had to over the fuel they prayed prayed they began to release the faithful prophecy you know then 
by faith they start to drive you know what happened the needle never went down you may have the similar experience as well the needle never went down they when they reached to the couple of hours they drive a couple of hours they reached the destination they went back home but still the needle stay same hallelujah see how it's happened because of the prophecy the simple word prophecy is not a hard word it's a simple word you have to prophesy i used to prophesy my children in my prayers i used to prophesy for my car the coming car i used to pray for the my next house i used to pray for a um, lot of thing i used to pray for a great network all over the world i used to pray for the pastors the associate pastors i used to prophesy for the children i used to you know we have to prophesy prophesy is a good thing hallelujah we are prophesying good things about others whatever you prophesy it will come to pass hallelujah may not be we cannot see straight away some things it will come afterwards so what we have to do we have to prophesy over the dryness over the dry bones over the impossibilities over the ends if you are ready to prophesy the things will turn it around look at that ezekiel when we <coughs> study about ezekiel he um, one day he was in the spirit he saw the vision the value of full dry bones he never knew that what he has to do he was expecting god was trying to share something to him but he heard god's voice son of man this bonds he was not sure about the things is this things will is going to work out or this is this thing is going to fail but that's why he said lord i don't know you only you know that immediately god spoke to him son of man began to prophesy over this dead bonds it is going to leave or prophesy the breath to come prophesy uh, the sinus to come prophesy the flesh to come prophesy the skin to come they as we began to prophesy immediately he heard a noise the, the rattling and the, all the sound all the bones came to together bone to bone the sinus came the flesh came the skin came but there was no breath again he god spoke to him okay sakiel son of man you have to prophesy again to let the breath enter into you so enter into the bodies immediately began to prophesy you know what happened the breath came into them they stood like an army hallelujah i believe that god is going to raise an army of god from this place hallelujah god is looking for an army for him hallelujah god is looking for some genuine people for him to stand in the gap god is looking for some fireful from faithful people some dedicated and responsible people to uh, to work for him hallelujah so god is going to release raise an army of lord from this place to bring the goodness of the revival to bring the goodness of the gospel to the nations how many of you believe that god is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we think or ask according to the power of the holy spirit is working us hallelujah it is possible for men it is possible but for with god all things are nothing is impossible with him hallelujah he got tremendous capacity he got tremendous abilities his power is able to lift every deadness his power is able to um, break every kind of chains every kind of darkness nothing can stop his power hallelujah god's words in his words hallelujah if you are ready to release the faithful words if you are ready to use the prophesy if you are ready to prophesy over the dead situation you are going to see the army will come hallelujah verse 14 this is a words for today morning and this morning i will put my spirit in you and you shall live and i will place you in your own land then you shall know that i the lord has spoken it and performed it says the lord hallelujah verse 14 i will put my spirit in you see god saying i will put my spirit in you and you shall live hallelujah you are not going to die 
I am talking about spiritual death. Hallelujah. You are not going to die. But God will spirit the, put the spirit upon you. You are going to live. You are going to stay in this land. Not in another land. Not in another country. You are going to. God is going to raise in this place. Hallelujah. God won't raise in another place. Most of the time what we will do. We used to think about this location. Or maybe my location is wrong. No, 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 no. nothing is wrong with your location our attitude is wrong we have to understand that god can raise you wherever you fail that's a god's that's the god's you know that's god's challenge against these people wherever we broke wherever the enemy defeated us wherever the enemy challenged us wherever the enemy tried to put put down us in the same spot god will lift up hallelujah god will prepare the table in front of our enemies hallelujah that's a god we serve see god want to make us you make us to shine god want to make you shine see many times people may criticize you many times people may put you down many times people you went through every kind of shame and guilt but i'll tell you this is a time god is going to prepare the table in front of your enemies hallelujah how many of you believe that shall we stand now Bible says I will put God saying I will put my spirit in you and you shall live and will I will place in you in your own land then you shall know that I the Lord has spoken it and performed it says the Lord Hallelujah God is going to put his spirit upon you you are going to live every kind of dryness every kind of rejections every kind of unbelief every kind of confusions are going away right now in the mighty name of jesus god is going to raise an army from this place god is going to raise a genuine people god is going to raise an army for him hallelujah we are ready to be join in that army we are ready to stay in that along with that army of god prepare our heart let's prepare our heart then tell him lord i want to be in that army i don't want to be dis- dislocated all over the valley lord i don't want to be any kind of dryness in my life i don't want to be scattered all over lord i want to come together as a body lord i want to come together as an agreement lord i want to stand in the name of jesus lord lord i want to declare your goodness and your words and your power to the world i want to declare your name over the world lord father open your mouth and begin to prophesy open our open your mouth and begin to prophesy the dead situation you may not see the goodness is coming you may waited and waited and waited for years i'll tell you today that barrier is going to break today that bondages and barrier that chains are going to break today is the today is the day of the deliverance in certain areas of your life i'll tell you i can see in the spirit the things are breaking what do you have to do you have to open your mouth and begin to prophesy 15 years of dryness 18 years of dryness 20 years of dryness 5 years of dryness is going away right now in the mighty name of jesus rase de 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 kara o ra ba 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 kara ba re de 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 pray in spirit for few minutes everyone everyone raise your voice raise your voice ri ba 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 ra thi andurende me ri andu ba 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 kara di kara dule si anduna mara thele de ra ba 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 raise your voice raise your voice raise your voice ri andu rama kele be ri andu be 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 ri andu ba 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 re da 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 ri anda da da kara ri andu ba 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 ne se re kele de re kele de le ra de re ba every kind of dryness every kind of dryness let it go 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 clap your hands together and they re da ra ku every kind of dryness let it go let it go 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 in the mighty name of jesus thank you jesus